Welcome to the Canadian Anaphylaxis Action Plan for Kids video. In this video, I will be teaching the Canadian Anaphylaxis Action Plan to children, youth, and parents. Anaphylaxis is a severe type of allergic reaction that has a fast onset and can be life-threatening. Food allergies affect around 7.5% of Canadians and are the most common cause of anaphylaxis in children. Other common triggers for anaphylaxis include drugs or medications and insect bites. This plan is primarily designed for children or youth under 18 years of age who present with or who are at risk for anaphylaxis. The action plan itself consists of an original sheet with two identical copies. The original sheet is a prescription for your pharmacy. Your doctor will fill in the line at the top of the page indicating what the child or youth is allergic to and they will fill in a prescription for an epinephrine auto-injector device and referral for an allergist at the bottom of the page as needed. Please ensure that your child or youth's name and personal information at the top right corner of the action plan are correct. The first copy is for you to keep at home and share with your family members and friends. The second copy is to provide to your child's daycare or school. It's crucial to understand the information in this plan in order to be able to explain it to the caregiver of your child. This plan is designed to explain essential and crucial information about anaphylaxis. More specifically, it addresses the following questions. 1. How to recognize anaphylaxis. 2. What are the appropriate actions to take if you or your child are experiencing an anaphylactic reaction? 3. How to use the epinephrine auto-injector, also known as an EpiPen. 4. How to prevent anaphylaxis. How to recognize anaphylaxis. Let's start by explaining the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis. But first, what is the difference between an allergic reaction and anaphylaxis? An allergic reaction is when your body has a reaction to something when you eat or are exposed to it. Anaphylaxis is a severe type of allergic reaction that has a fast onset and can be life-threatening if not identified and treated immediately. So it's important to know and to recognize the symptoms. Common symptoms of anaphylaxis can involve four systems in the body. One, skin. Widespread itchiness or hives, swelling of the face and lips or around the eyes, redness of the eyes or skin. Two, breathing. Difficulty breathing, cough, wheezing or noisy breathing, chest pain or tightness, throat tightness or trouble swallowing. Three, heart. Feeling dizzy or lightheaded, turning pale or blue, these signs indicate a drop in the blood pressure. 4. Stomach. Nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. Please note that the symptoms of anaphylaxis can vary from one reaction to the next. So just because they had hives and throat tightness the first time does not mean that it will be the same the following time. Next time they could feel dizzy or start vomiting, so it's important to be aware of all four systems. Epinephrine should be given after exposure to a known allergen if the symptoms of the allergic reaction involve more than one system in the body. For example, if your child or youth has a peanut allergy and develops skin symptoms such as widespread hives and stomach symptoms such as vomiting soon after ingestion of a food that contains peanuts, he or she is likely experiencing an anaphylactic reaction and should receive epinephrine. Remember, breathing difficulties or a drop in blood pressure are signs of a severe allergic reaction, so give epinephrine immediately. What are the appropriate actions to take if you or your child are experiencing an anaphylactic reaction? At the first sign of anaphylaxis, you should remain calm and give epinephrine. Epinephrine, also known as adrenaline, is the only life-saving medication for anaphylaxis and will not hurt or harm your child or youth. Epinephrine injection should not be delayed to give Benadryl or other antihistamines. You should then call 911 and say your child or youth is having a severe allergic reaction. If the reaction continues or worsens, you should give a second dose of epinephrine as early as 5 minutes after the first dose if there is no improvement in symptoms and keep your child or youth in a lying position unless he or she is vomiting or short of breath. They will then receive continued care and monitoring at the nearest healthcare facility in case of a secondary reaction. How to use epinephrine auto-injector, also known as an EpiPen. At the time of developing this video, EpiPen is the only epinephrine injection device that is currently available in Canada. We will now focus on learning how to actually use it. We will demonstrate the use of an EpiPen using a trainer device with no needle or medication. 
flew to the sky, orange to the thigh. Hold firmly with the orange tip pointing downward. Do not hold your thumb over the end. Remove the blue safety cap by pulling straight up. Do not bend or twist. For young children, make sure to hold the child's legs steady before injecting. Push the orange tip firmly into the mid-outer thigh until you hear a click sound. Hold on thigh for three seconds. After injection, the orange part automatically covers the needle so that it's not exposed. If you have a trainer EpiPen with you, please practice going through the steps yourself by pausing the video now. Great! Now you know how to use an EpiPen. Here are some more tips. Make sure your EpiPen is always with the child or youth and easily available. Make sure your EpiPen is not expired. It's best to use one that's up to date because the effectiveness of the medication decreases after the expiration date. You should not use the device if the fluid is brown or dark in color. However, in an emergency situation when you know your child or youth is having an anaphylactic reaction and all you have is an expired EpiPen, then it's better to give it to them rather than giving nothing at all. Do not store your EpiPen in a very hot or very cold place. Extreme heat is particularly damaging to epinephrine. Always have a backup EpiPen available as a precautionary measure. There is a mobile app called My EpiPen that can help you learn more about the EpiPen device. For more information and support in managing food allergies, visit www.foodallergycanada.ca. Food Allergy Canada educates, supports, and advocates for the needs of people living with food allergies. How to prevent anaphylaxis. The last part of the action plan lists practical strategies to prevent anaphylaxis. For this section, please use the section that is relevant for your child or youth. For a food allergy, read food labels, avoid food that you are allergic to, bring your own food to school, don't share food, plates, utensils, or placemats. For allergy to insects, wear long sleeves and pants, wear closed-toed shoes, tie back long hair, avoid drinking from straws, cans, or bottles outdoors, stay away from garbage cans. For medication allergies, tell your doctor, pharmacist, dentist, and nurse about any medication allergies. We hope this video was helpful for you. Please share this information with family, friends, teachers, and caregivers to help prevent anaphylactic reactions.